over the D. Okay. So we have this figure. From here, first we need to get a uh, open loop transfer function. We need to reduce all this uh, block diagram that is given here in a single uh, way. So how to uh, derive? The question is about to derive a closed loop transfer function for y over es. All right. So if you notice here. We need to put everything in a series format. So we have uh, one additional block here, which is in parallel. So basically, this entire function can be put as this G1, G2, and also the G3 can be put into G3, G1 because it is in series and plus with the G2, all right? So this will be one single uh, diagram. And then we are deriving closed loop transfer function over Y over the D, the disturbance, correct? So, right? So it will be the uh, G3, the uh, input Y, will be the G3 over 1 plus the GOL. So here the GOL will be KC, right? KC times with the G1, G3 that we reduced just now plus with the G2. This is one term times with the KM. So this will be the closed loop transfer function for disturbance changes, right? Now, the next question, for the following transfer function, what values of KC will result in a stable closed loop system? Okay, so we need to de derive a value of KC so that the system is stable, right? They have given us the G1, G2, G3, and also the KM value. Okay, so G1, G2, G3, and KM value is given. For closed loop stability, if you remember, uh, we need to uh, find out a one plus the characteristic equation, okay, which is one plus GOL must be equals to zero. So in this case, the characteristic equation is one plus the KC G1, G3, plus G2 KM equals to zero. So substituting all the information provided to us, one plus KC, G1 is five, G3 is one over S minus one, plus G2 is 4 over 2S plus 1. <coughs> and Km is 1. All right? So we need to simplify this. 1 plus Kc, 5 over S minus 1. plus 4 over 2s plus 1 equals to 0. So further simplifying will give you one plus kc 5 2 
s plus one plus four s minus one over s minus one two s plus one equals to zero. Right? So this can be written as the one is basically s minus one two s plus one. plus kc 5 2s plus 1 plus 4 s minus 1 equals to 0 and over s minus 1 2s plus 1 all right so from here by uh, substitute or uh, by further simplifying you will get the 2s square plus 14 kc minus 1 plus kc minus 1 equals to 0. So if you remember for the stability criterion, root stability criterion, this can be written as by extracting all the positive coefficient to 14 kc minus 1 and kc minus 1 all right so from here we can find the b b1 and and the uh, b uh, sorry b1 and the c1 value so b1 basically equals to right b1 B1 basically equals to the multiplication the multiplication between this and this. So 14 Kc minus 1 Kc minus 1 okay minus the multiplication between this and this here there's a num no number so we assume zero so it will be two times zero which is zero all right over the 14 kc minus one and this term uh, technically speaking has to be uh, equals to or more than zero so for a stability closed loop stability the kc has to be uh, more than one, all right. So for this term to be real, the Kc minus one has to be more than zero, okay. And here the 14 Kc minus one has to be more than zero. So from here we can reduce, deduce that Kc is actually more than one. And here the uh, 14 Kc from here we can deduce it is uh, more than 1 over 14. All right. So for the closed loop uh, stability, the Kc has to be more than 1. All right. So this is between Kc more than 1 and Kc more than 1 over 14, right? So this is like very lower number and the maximum uh, limit is uh, sorry, the minimum limit is uh, 1. So we can say the Kc must be more than 1 for the system to uh, achieve uh, stability. Okay. So this is about question number 1. Let's look into question number 2. So for question number two, the block diagram is given for a feedback control system. We need to determine the values of Kc that result in a stable closed loop system. So here we know need to, uh, they already, earlier they asked us to prove uh, for the system to be stable what the Kc value has to be. So here again also we need to find out the Kc value so that the closed loop system become stable, all right? 
So from here, we need to again come out with the uh, simplified uh, diagram or the uh, characteristic equation. Okay. So we have this system here. Okay. <laughs> so from this system, we can simplify the inner loop here, right? This inner loop can be uh, simplified as uh, 0 0.5 times 4 over S plus 3 over uh, 1 plus the 0 0.5, 4 over S plus 3. The inner, this inner loop can be simplified at this. So from the uh, overall diagram, the characteristics equation will be 1 plus the KC, okay? KC, and uh, we have uh, the simplified of the inner loop, which is 0 0.5, 4, S plus 3, 1 plus 0 0.5, 4, S plus 3, all right? So this is one term. And then we have the uh, process uh, transfer function as negative 2, 1 minus S, this is 1, okay? And we have the transmitter uh, function as 1 over S plus N equals to 0. This whole thing has to be equals to 0. If they ask us to determine over the disturbance changes, then we can uh, consider the disturbance changes. Otherwise, we uh, don't include that in terms of uh, in the uh, characteristics equations. Because if you remember, the characteristics equation is 1 plus GOL. And the GOL is defined as GC, GV, GP, and GM, not GD. Okay, so GD is not included in this. So for the simplifying the overall equation, you'll be getting S to the power of 3 plus 14 H squared. This is the standard form to, to write the uh, array equations. Stability for to find out the stability. So S3, S to the power of 3 plus 14 S squared plus 35S plus 4KC minus 50 equals to 0. Okay. If you remember the lecture note, the S, S term here, S term here need to be arranged in, in the order of decreasing powers. So S3, S2, S5. So that I can write the uh, array uh, rows, so root array rows, easier for me to write. So if you notice from here, the uh, coefficient for the s to the power of uh, 3 is 1 and followed with 14. And the next one is 35 and followed with 4kc minus 50. The last term will be combined together with the KC uh, variable. Okay, so from here I need to calculate what is my B1. Okay, how to calculate B1? Formula to calculate B1, if you remember, recall back from the even the first question, we need to times the 14 and 35 minus with this. Okay, 1 times. 4kc minus 50 over the 14. Okay, so uh, for us to get the stability, this term has to be uh, more than zero. The entire term has to be more than zero. So for this to be more than zero, okay, higher value, the 4kc minus 50 itself uh, has to be, um, you know, 
So we solve one by one instead of that. So 14 times th uh, 35 will be 390. 490 minus the 4kc minus 50 over 14 will be more than 0. Okay. So solving this will give you basically kc less than So this will give you Kc less than 135. Okay, this is for the B uh, the B1 first. Okay. Following with B1, we need to calculate the C1 here. All right, because we need to know the range at which the Kc will uh, uh, will be uh, provided. Okay, so for the C to be uh, calculated, we need to multiply the B1 and the 4KC, okay? And here, which is 0 to the power uh, times with the 14. So that actually, the C1 equals to B1, B1, which is uh, the, the term that we have got here. All right, so that will be 490 minus 4 kc minus 50 over 14. All right, so this is just the B1 times with 4 kc minus 50. Divide with 490 minus 4kc minus 50 over 40. And this term has to be more than 0. So this is the sec second requirement. All right. So if you notice here, this and this can be cancelled. And that will leave 4kc minus 50 more than 0. So 4kc will be 50, more than 50. And kc will be more than uh, 50 divided by 4, which is 12.5. Um, so we have two value for kc. From here, we need to conclude that for the system to be stable, the kc as to lie higher than the 12.5 and lower than the 135. So this is the um, way of finding the value of Kc for a system stability. Okay. So let's look into another question. We'll try two more questions. Question number three, y'all try. We try question number four. Okay. A feedback control system has the open loop transfer function, meaning the GOL is already provided as 0 0.5 Kc e to the power of negative 3s over 10s uh, plus one. Okay. We need to find out the Kc value so that uh, the system is approaching, uh, I mean, the system is reaching stable, but with two different way of finding the uh, Kc value, okay? So we either, first one, we need to find out using the root stability criterion, and second one is by using the uh, paid approximation. So we have two, all right? So we take oh, no. okay. okay, now mind. we write the equation first. So from here, the GOL is given as GOL 
equals to 0 0.5 kc e to the power of negative 3s over 10s plus 1. Okay. First, we need to use the uh, stability, root stability criterion. So before we proceed, for any equation or for any stability criterion, we need to find out what is one characteristic equation is. Okay. 1 plus GOL must be equals to 0. And the GOL must be expressed in terms of the S. Huh? Okay. All right. So 1 plus 0 0.5 KC E negative 3S over 10S plus 1 equals to 0. So this is using, uh, this is the general equation for uh, general characteristic equation. Okay. Now for the uh, root stability criterion, okay, we need to have the standard form of uh, a constant positive coefficient with to the power of 3 plus b as 3 and so on. Okay, so we basically need to expand this equation. So before we proceed, we do the uh, earlier, uh, sim uh, the easier part, which is paid appro approximation. Okay, paid approximation. Because for paid approximation, we only need the theta value. So for the uh, paid approximation, the E negative theta S is expressed we can equal this as 1 uh, minus theta s theta over 2s divided with 1 plus theta over 2s. So from, from here, if you notice, from here, if you notice the e to the, uh, the exponential term that is given here is e negative 3s. So the theta here is 3. So this can be written as 3 over 2 s over 1 plus right? 1 plus 3 over 2 s. Okay, this is for the uh, paid approximation. All right, so once we have written this, we can substitute this e to the negative to the 3s uh, term into this first equation, okay? We can substitute into this first equation. So one, one, plus 0 0.5 kc. Now the e term will be, exponential term will be 1 minus 3 over 2s, 1 plus 3 over 2s, over 10s plus 1 equals to 0. Okay. Further expanding this equation, you will be getting in the root uh, standard form, root stability standard form, which is 15 S square plus 11.5 minus 0 0.75 KC, the power of S plus one plus 0 0.5 KC equals to zero okay so if you notice the s term will be in the form of decreasing huh? so this is to the power of one and this is to the power of zero all right so this can be uh, to find out the stability from here we can uh, define this the entire thing has to be equals to zero so for that 11.5 minus 0 0.75 kc has to be more than 0 and 1 plus 0 0.5 kc has to be more than 
zero so that we will get uh, the range of kc kc values all right so here's so this will be negative 0 0.75 kc more than negative 11.5 okay and the kc will be less than negative 11.5 over 0 0.75 kc because you are bringing the sign together for the kc yeah so here will be kc 15.33 this is for one rate, uh, one value of Kc. And here, 0 0.5 Kc more than negative one, and Kc must be more than negative one over 0 0.5. And Kc must be more than negative two. So we have to, uh, the range in which the Kc falls. So Kc has to be, Higher than the negative two and uh, lower than the 15.33 value for the system to reach stability. So this is by using the stability criterion. So for root uh, using page approximation, we will derive the e to the power of negative three s. So that will come to a general equation of uh, root stability criteria okay so this is about question number four so go back and try the question number five similar to that here uh, they already provided us the gp gv gm and gc so you have to show the gol can be approximated by a foptd model okay so what is FOPTD models? Device back, it's already in the lecture note. So this is also uh, by using the uh, paid approximation because you have the theta term, okay? Theta term. Right. So let's look into question number six. A control system has GV equals to GM equals to one. So the GV and GM uh, transfer function is equals to one. And a second order process with GP uh, with GKP equals to two. The process gain is two. Tau one equals to four minute and tau two equals to one minute, which is to be controlled by a PI controller. So P, we have a PI controller with KC uh, two, and the tau integrate uh, integrated controller will be equals to tau one equals to four minutes, such that the integral time of the controller is set equal to the dominant time constant. Okay, so they already equated the for the integrated uh, controller's time for a set point change. Okay. Clearly mentioned for a set point change, huh? not disturbing change. So for a set point change, we need to determine the closed loop transfer function. If you notice, there's no block diagram is provided in this question. Okay, only the uh, the single blocks or the details of the blocks is provided. So we need to find out the closed loop transfer function. All right, so here the closed loop from if, uh, and the question also asking us to uh, to show um, for a set point change, meaning for a set point change, meaning the output will be the Y and the input will be the Y S P. So we basically need to get this. So for us to get this, this will be the G C G P G V and so on G P. GV and GM over the one plus uh, GP, GC, GV and GM. All right. So 
the details of all the values is given. GP with KP is given. So we can write GP equals to the process, uh, sorry, the, the, the proportional gain KP, uh, not KC. Right. KP over tau 1s plus tau tau 2s plus 1. Okay. So the KP is given provided as 2. Tau 1 is given as 4 plus 1. Sorry, here plus 1. Huh? Times with tau 2 provided as 1 plus s plus 1. Okay, so this is for GP. For GC, okay, GC is for the PI controller. So we can write the uh, transfer function for the controller as KC times 1 plus. This is for the proportional of D, okay. And for the integral, we can write 1 over tau integral S. So this is for PI. KC is only for proportional. Huh? All right. So the combination of PI will be KC times with the uh, integral controller. So the KC value given here is 2 and tau integral is 4. So this is actually 2, 1 plus 1 over 4s, which is 2. You can write as it is, or you can expand 2 plus 2 over uh, 4s. Okay, so this is for GC. So with this, we actually can uh, substitute inside the y over ysp. Okay, so this y over YSP is basically the GC is 2 1 plus 1 over 4S okay GP is 2 over 4S plus 1 S plus 1 GV and GM is given as equals to 1. Okay, so each term has to be 1 over 1 plus 2, 1 plus 1 over 4S, 2 over 4S plus 1, S plus 1. Okay. All right, so for the simplifying this equation, you will be getting y over y sp equals to 1 over s square plus s plus 1. Okay, so this is the closed loop transfer function. Just need to expand the entire equation. Okay, the second part, we need to find out the characteristic equation, which is a quadratic uh, polynomial in S. Is it overdone or underdone? Okay, so quadratic polynomial equation is already derived in the previous, uh, from part, uh, part A, right? So this one, right? So from here, so make sure you have to get the part A correct so that part B can be proceed. All right. So S square plus S plus 1. So this is actually tau square S square plus 2 with the damping coefficient. All right. Tau S plus 1. All right. So from here, for us to get the one to the power one times the coefficient for the s square is one so meaning the tau square here is equals to 
1 and tau equals to 1. All right. And for this entire term to have 1, 2 damping coefficient times tau has to be equals to 1. So for us to identify whether the system is overdamped or underdamped, it can only be concluded by finding the uh, damping coefficient. So to sorry. The damping coefficient is basically equals to 1 over 2 tau, all right? And tau here is 1, so damping coefficient is 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5. Now, what we can tell from this value, okay? We need to tell whether it is over damp or under damp. Now, if the damping coefficient value is approaching zero, this is undamped system, all right? And if the damping coefficient value is less than one, this is undamped, right? This is undamped, this is underdamped, huh? and if the uh, coefficients value is more than one, the system is over damped. Right? So if you notice the uh, damping coefficient value is 0 0.5, which is less than one, so the system is under damped. So this is how we conclude based on the damping coefficient. Okay? Question number seven already given the control system uh, with the mod, uh, di block diagram or the summary of the uh, transfer function for GV and GP with 1 over S plus 1 to the power of 3. GM is 1 and GC equals to KC. So if GC equals to KC, meaning uh, the uh, we are using the proportional controller, which is already mentioned here. So we need to find out the uh, highest value of Kc for a proportional controller. Oh, sorry, we have another part C for question number six. Can a large value of Kc make the closed loop process unstable? Sorry, before going to this uh, seventh question, for question number six, we have part C. Can a large value of Kc make the closed loop process unstable, okay? For us to determine whether the system is stable or unstable, we need to always come with the, um, uh, what to say, um, the characteristics equation, right? So the characteristic equation for this question, right? So one plus G O L equals to zero. So the GOL in this case is GC, GP, GV, and GM. All right. So this is already derived in the previous question, previous part. So GC is uh, KC 4S plus 1 over 4S. GP is 2 over 4S plus 1. S plus 1 and the GVGM is equals to 1 and this thing equals to 0. Okay, so from here, this term and this term can cancel plus KC, 2KC over 4S, S plus 1 equals to 0. Okay, so Okay. Expand this equation. This is actually 4s s plus 1. 4s s plus 1. So that I will get the 1 constant plus 2kc over 4s s plus 1. All right. 
So expanding this equation, I will get 4s s plus 1 plus 2kc equals to 0. Okay, so the whole thing will be equals to 0. Further expanding, you will get 4s square plus 4s plus 2kc equals to 0. Simplifying, you will get 2s square plus 2s plus 2kc equals to 0. Okay. So this is the general form of writing in descending order of the power of s, the root. Okay. So now we have this ready. Uh, from here to find the stability region, we, we must, uh, how to say, we must put it in the row and column uh, way, which 2kc express as this, okay? So for us to get uh, the b1 value, b1 is actually multiplication of 2 and 2kc over the 0. Sorry. Divide, divide, divide for s square plus 2. So it will be one kc now two kc right dividing with two will leave two two and one right so two times kc over the two two kc zero so two kc over the uh, two times okay zero more than zero. So we ignore this part. This is basically 2kc more than zero and kc must be more than zero. So this is the range of uh, kc so that uh, we get a stable closed loop system. So the question is, can a large value of KC make the closed loop process unstable. Looking at the KC value, the KC has to be more than zero for the system to reach. Large value means higher than the zero value, which is 100, 200. More than zero is literally means more than zero, right? So one more than it can be one or even thousand. So higher value basically will make the system stable, not unstable. The question asking, can a large value make the process unstable? No, the answer is no. Large value basically will make the system stable. Okay, so that is part C of question six. Okay, question number seven, you can try yourself. You have the uh, GV, GP, GM, and GC provided, and the KC for the proportional uh, controller we need to find for the system to be stable using the root array, uh, root array uh, stability criterion. Okay, I can show uh, slightly about the or the way of cal calculating this. Okay, GV, GV, GP is provided as one over s plus one to the power of three. GM equals to 1 and GC equals to KC. So for the KC proportional controller to be uh, stable, we need to define the uh, set point change for a set point change. Okay, so this is basically GC, GV, GP, and GM. All right, 1 plus the the entire GC, GV, GP, GM. GC, GV, GP, GM. All right. So the M here is one. So this can be uh, ignored. Right. And so here. Right. So the GC is KC. GV, GP is one over S plus one to the power of three over 1 plus kc 1 over s plus 1 
to the power of three. All right. So this is the basic e equation of uh, for a set point change. So further expanding this equation, you will be getting KC over root array. Uh, the, the arrangement has to be in the root array stability criterion as per the standard equation S3 plus 3S2 plus 3S1, 3S plus 1 plus KC. So the characteristic equation here is S3, this portion. Right? So S3 plus 3S2 plus 3S plus 1 plus KC equals to 0. So this is the uh, characteristic equation from the set point change. So the root array formation of this in the row form, we will put 1, 3, 3, 1 plus K, C. And we have B1 and C1 value. So the B1 can be calculated as 3 times 3 minus 1 times 1 plus K, C over the 3. This is 9 minus 1 minus KC over 3. This is 8 minus KC over 3. And this has to be more than 0 for us to get a stable system. So 8 minus KC more than 0. KC more than negative 8. KC has to be lesser than it. This is one range of value for B1. Now for C1, for us to get, get the C1, we have a B1 equation as 8 minus 3 Kc. So it has to be diagonal way. So here it will be 8 minus Kc over 3 times with 1 plus Kc. All right. Minus here 0, 0 times 3 is 0 over the B1, 8 minus KC over 3. Okay? So if you notice, this term and this term can cancel and the entire thing has to be more than 0 like the term. Huh? So here 1 plus KC has to be more than 0. KC has to be more than negative 1. So by combining this uh, range, we can put KC is basically has to be more than negative 1 and less than 8. So the, for a system to be stable, the highest value the KC can reach is 8, right? And the lowest is the uh, negative 1. So we don't talk about the lowest value. We always uh, make sure it reaches the maximum value. So the KC has to be less than 8. The question we need to find KC for proportional controller for the system to be stable. So KC has to be lower than 8. Or we can say just mention the range shown here negative within negative one and 8. So that is about question number 7. So I didn't discuss question number 5 and 3. Only two questions. So you can try yourself. All right. So any question you can ask me. If there's no question, we will end today's session. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm just leaving two questions for you to try. So go back and try. Thank you and see you all next week for the lecture.